Observe the humble Koopa. He is a walking turtle. Take note of his shell, which is his primary defense against shoes. There are two main variations of the basic Koopa, the green shelled and the red shelled. The green Koopas walk straight forward with a lack of concern or care for their safety, whereas the red Koopas have adapted to cleverly turn away from gaps and continue walking the other way. Let us now direct our attention towards something a bit more tragic. When Mario stomps on this poor, innocent Koopa that probably wasn't going to pull a knife on him, he retreats to his shell and prays for his life. But Mario isn't interested in killing this one Koopa, but rather using him to kill others! Now we shall gaze towards the most common subspecies of these adorable turtles, the Paratroopa! Let us start with the Red Paratroopa, as there are two primary variations here as well. The Red Paratroopas fly up and down infinitely, avoiding gruesome deaths that the regular variety experience. Sound familiar? Now the green paratroopas are a little more effective in decreasing Mario's 1-up counter. Rather than being defensive and avoiding him, they charge in with no care in the world, bouncing up and down. With this bounce, they are more effective at dispatching the plumber by picking him off mid-jump. Okay, now that we've covered that, we must move on to discuss their achievements. Wait, there are none! Forget this! Hey, we Koopas have done lots of things! What do you not get about closed studio? Well, I just don't want misrepresentation on the internet. Ah, fine, I'll scrounge something up. All right, so let's see what these turtles have done. Racing! Koopa the Quick is quite fast despite being a turtle. He even beats Mario on some occasions. Koopas have also contributed to other sports, such as fighting. There's a team of KP Koopas, more on them later, that fights in the glitch pit for entertainment. Football slash soccer. Koopas use their overall average skills to score goals and win games. Baseball! They hit the ball and... yeah! Kart racing! Koopas also perform in this form of racing, and Paratroopa joins in Double Dash. Other non-sports related things that Koopas have done are becoming mayors of Koopa societies. But we've saved the most notable Koopa achievement for last. They are loyal henchmen of Bowser, and they keep the Koopa Troop running. Let us move on to the sad part of our formula, I mean documentary, the negatives. Koopas time and time again are used to dispose of other enemies against their will. They also get their shells stolen on multiple occasions, which is like stealing their clothes. How would you like it if someone stole your clothing? I bet you want it. No! We'll only cover one more unfair event, because I'm sure your hearts can't take any more. Unless you have no sympathy, then you're a monster. But the final thing we will mention on this topic is their inclusion in the worst video game of all time. That's right, they almost had their reputation destroyed by Mario is Missing. Oh, I think I need a sec. On a lighter note, we can now discuss the different varieties of Koopas. Why don't we start with... The KP Koopa and Paratroopa, as mentioned earlier. These are identical to the regular Koopa and Paratroopa in strength, but have 10 times the bling. The Magic Koopa. This is the best variety of Koopa, no contest. It has incredible strength, intellect, and magic abilities. The most notable of the Magic Koopas is Kamek, who is the best Koopa in existence, hands down. He is the fabulous right-hand man and stepfather to Bowser, as well as the coolest and most powerful magician around. Now that we're done with this unbiased entry, let's move on to... The Hammer Brother, an armored Koopa that throws hammers. Lakitu! This Koopa wears goggles like a nerd and throws spinies from his cloud, which he rides for an aerial advantage. Spiny! This is a Koopa fetus with a spiked shell, we can only presume. This is the Koopa that Lakitu throws. Dry Bones! This is a Koopa that accidentally got its flesh burned off in one of Bowser's many lava pits. Of course, there are indeed so many more kinds of Koopas, but there were just far too many for me to list them all. Some of these subspecies I listed even deserve their own documentaries, but that is for another day. In conclusion, the Koopas have a long, deep history. I'd summarize this documentary too, but you just watched it and it's kinda redundant. This is the whole refine the formula sort of thing that people do with new series, right? Now, stay tuned for the next documentary, which shall remain a mystery until it premieres. Gosh, the formula was mentioned so many times. I'm starting to look like a cheap sellout or something. Did you enjoy this video? Then be sure to like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts down below. If you're really interested in watching new videos, why don't you ring a that notification bell to be notified whenever a new video is posted. Have a nice day!